in the areas of programming and data science. I really love the online lectures. Really happy I took this up. First year in computer science. Hardware engineer at uh, Vortex Engineering. Engineering student. I'm studying uh, EC in MIT College. CSE uh, with AI and robotics. Software developer in a company. Working professional uh, in TCS. Doing my first year in uh, Madras Institute of Technology. Uh, I'm working in Hyundai Motor India. Doing a double degree in physics and mechanical engineering. Doing my PhD physics currently. Barclays Bank for two years now. A BC at Madras Christian College. First year right now in IIT Palakkad. I've taken up chemical engineering in IIT Madras. A third year B.Tech student. Working professional. 15 plus years of experience in IT. Working professional, I have around 13 years of experience. I'm doing my B.Tech around, ma'am. I'm a homemaker. And I'm a student of SRM University. Working in my bank, SBI. I'm doing fashion design. I'm a software professional. I'm doing my busy honors. I am a law student. I'm currently pursuing my CFA exam. Fourth year engineering student. Uh, my name is Aditya. The exams are also very, very challenging and they really made me think and innovate in a way I haven't since school. The way they are teaching is uh, really good okay. and the intention seems to be to really teach and not to like focus on the marks more. All the sessions, live sessions helped me to even improve my score. And the content, the professor's teaching is really good. They make it easier. You don't need to have doubts. The whole experience, it has been very good. Go through the notes, it was very, very handy as for working professionals like me. Very organized and every... As a game changer, IIT Madras brings a unique online program at the degree and the diploma level in the areas of programming and data science. I really love the online lectures. Really happy I took this up. First year in computer science. Hardware engineer at uh, Vortex Engineering. Engineering student. I'm studying uh, EC in MIT College. CSE uh, with AI and robotics. Software developer in a company. Working professional uh, in TCS. Doing my first year in uh, Madras Institute of Technology. Uh, I'm working in Hyundai Motor India. Doing a double degree in physics and mechanical engineering. Doing my PhD physics currently. Barclays Bank for two years now. A BC at Madras Christian College. First year right now in IIT Palakkad. I've taken up chemical engineering in IIT Madras. A third year B.Tech student. Working professional. 15 plus years of experience in IT. Working professional, I have around 13 years of experience. I'm doing my B.Tech around, ma'am. I'm a homemaker. And I'm a student of SRM University. Working in my bank, SBI. I'm doing fashion design. I'm a software professional. I'm doing my busy honors. I am a law student. I'm currently pursuing my CFA exam. I'm a fourth year engineering student. Uh, my name is Aditya. The exams are also very, very challenging and they really made me think and innovate in a way I haven't since school. The way they are teaching is uh, really good. Okay. And the intention seems to be to really teach and not to like focus on the marks more. All the sessions, live sessions helped me to even improve my score. And the content, the professor's teaching is really good. They make it easier. You don't need to have doubts. The whole experience, it has been very good. Go through the notes, it was very, very handy as for working professionals like me. Very organized and everything was super helpful coming up to the final exam. We really appreciate the hard work you people are putting in. Especially, I think the professors, I think they are really doing the best actually. I really appreciate the learning culture in your, uh, in the, in the, through this course. I'd like to thank like the way IIT conducted themselves because uh, they had this, all these revisions and other things. It was very useful. I'm from a mechanical engineering background, okay, so I've never been used to any codes and all those things. But you know, when you get into that, you know, actual meaning of that, when you just know how to read a code, it becomes interesting, you know, at the end of the day, you just get through it. That the way the uh, teacher and the kind of conversation is going on, it was uh, very good and uh, easy for uh, the learners to learn. Like there are instructors who are always there to help you out and there are live sessions where you can like ask your doubts and get them cleared. Uh, I don't think a lot of online courses have that option to actually um, like clear doubts and stuff on a live basis. Very very happy to actually to have enrolled to this course 
and i look forward to continuing uh, in this course and uh, grasp as much knowledge as possible yeah. visit online degree.iitm.ac.in and apply now as a game changer iit madras brings a unique online program at the degree and the diploma level in the areas of programming and data science I really love the online lectures. Really happy I took this up. First year in computer science. Hardware engineer at uh, Vortex Engineering. Engineering student. I'm studying uh, EC in MIT College. CSE uh, with AI and robotics. Software developer in a company. Working professional uh, in TCS. Doing my first year in uh, Madras Institute of Technology. Uh, I'm working in Hyundai Motor India. Doing a double degree in physics and mechanical engineering. Doing my PhD physics currently. Barclays Bank for two years now. A BCA at Madras Christian College. First year right now in IIT Palakkad. I've taken up chemical engineering in IIT Madras. A third year B Tech student. Working professional. 15 plus years of experience in IT. Working professional. I have around. 13 years of experience. Till take me up na beta kar raha hu ma'am. I'm a homemaker. I'm a student of SRM University working in a bank SBI. I'm doing Uh, sir, we are live now, sir. Please. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to this uh, interactive session on the IIT Madras online programs. So, I am Dr. Vignesh Muttavijayan. I am a faculty in the Department of Biotechnology. I am one of the coordinators for the IIT Madras online degree programs. So, I welcome you all and uh, I'll be happy to be answering many of the questions that you have. So, we have prepared a brief presentation where we will be uh, kind of addressing some of the concerns that you have. So we will first give you an introduction as to what this uh, program is all about and uh, tell you how exactly we uh, help. We hope to actually work on uh, improving the knowledge base in the area of programming and data science. So as you all know, this is an online uh, program which is being uh, offered by IIT Madras. It is the first of its kind by any IIT. So you can earn uh, different levels of uh, certifications or diplomas or degrees by continuing through this program. So we will briefly introduce you what this is all about. And uh, so the first question which many of you might have is why should IITM should be doing this and why uh, are we choosing programming and data science? So IIT Madras, um, as most of you would know, is the number one institute in the country. And we have been pioneers in setting educational standards for undergraduate and graduate education. So in this effort, we want to see how we can actually uh, contribute towards online learning. And uh, IIT Madras has actually worked on NPTEL, which is um, an online uh, technical education platform. And this has uh, been there uh, for more than a decade and uh, there have been MOOCs courses offered through NPTEL. So this seemed like a natural transition where we can take that expertise and build online programs to offer diplomas, degrees and so on. And uh, we also want to reach out to as many people as possible. Uh, when it comes to a physical uh, program, there is a limitations due to the space availability and infrastructural availability and so on. However, this online program uh, will provide the same quality of education but uh, for at a larger scale. So this way we can bring in an inclusive education system and uh, we aim to achieve this through this program. So we have chosen programming and data science uh, primarily because of uh, the high employability opportunities, employment opportunities which are available. Data science is one of the fastest growing sectors and uh, you there is a prediction to have more than 11 million jobs by uh, 2026, which is another five years from now. So, uh, and you all know what the demand for programmers uh, is in today's world. So this way you can actually be trained to uh, 
on the skills which are highly sought after by uh, industries in the world so for uh, as a brief introduction on what data science is uh, so data science is basically using uh, scientific methods to analyze large amounts of data so there is a lot of data which is being generated say every time uh, somebody opens google or clicks on a link or something it is uh, data is generated this data is actually being analyzed and that is how a lot of uh, based on this analytics a lot of uh, marketing uh, like healthcare finance economics everything is designed so it is used in all possible avenues whether it is aerospace or sports or linguistics or uh, medicine data science has a huge uh, application so for that reason uh, i think data science is an exciting field for learners as well so because most of you have actually come and looked at this program i'm assuming you do know a little bit about data science so i don't want to go into further details but i will talk a little bit about uh, what this program is all about and how this program actually uh, is designed so that it can help in uh, achieving the most number of people joining the program Sorry. so uh, so there is an entry without an entrance exam so uh, unlike any other uh, program where you have entrance exams uh, or marks from schools being used for the uh, cutoffs for joining a program here it is only through a qualifier process there are actually two modes of entry so today we are going to talk about uh, the entry at uh, the foundation level and then uh, there are actually three exit points which are also available where you can either get a certificate or a, a one or two diplomas or get the bsc degree from iit madras and actually become an alumnus of iit madras so uh, this is actually a flow chart which gives you Uh, clarity on what exactly uh, this program is about so we uh, the regular entry is what we are currently offering the applications that we are collecting are for this regular entry so there is a qualifier process for this regular entry where you will be given four weeks of online training so this starts in september and you will have uh, four weeks of training on four different subjects and based on uh, that content there will be an in person qualifier exam and this qualifier exam uh, performance will be used for determining whether a learner has qualified for the entry into the program or it's one so there is no restriction on a cut off or a ranking system it is only required to uh, clear the exam clear this qualifier exam and get a minimum percentage which will help in uh, deciding whether you have qualified uh, for the program and upon successful completion of the foundation level uh, a learner can choose to exit with just the certificate uh, so this can usually take somewhere between 1 uh, to 2 years the shortest period to complete this uh, foundation level courses would be 8 months and then there are uh, diploma level courses uh, where you can earn one or two diplomas so the there is a diploma in programming and there's a diploma in data science you can earn uh, a single diploma or both and choose to exit at that point as well or uh, you can continue to the third level of the program which is the degree level courses and uh, complete the courses required at the degree level to earn the bsc degree from iit madras by successful completion of this bsc degree uh, the student becomes an alumnus of iit madras which is an extremely prestigious honor and uh, this degree and these diplomas are the only programs that have been officially authorized by the iit madras senate and uh, there is it carries the signature of the director and the board of governors and so on which means it is uh, a recognized uh, certificate diploma and a recognized degree which will be uh, which the learner will earn by going through this program so as i said uh, this is offered by iit madras this is uh, set up by iit madras so the standards also need to meet the standards of iit madras so as you can see this is not like any other uh, correspondence or an online uh, course this is a very rigorous course uh, we have a blended learning uh, model where there is online content delivery and an in person evaluation so there is uh, quite a rigorous training that is given so you need to complete close to 31 uh, courses uh, by the time 31 or 32 courses by the time you uh, as learner completes the degree program so 
the quantum of training which is provided by high quality teaching from iit madras and top institutes like uh, will actually be of uh, the quality that you expect so people have come to expect from an iit so this program will be on par or even more rigorous than uh, an on campus uh, many on campus programs so this way the training is very solid you can see the list of courses so this information is available on the website as well so you can uh, take a look and you will know what the courses are and how the structure is so i and i, I know many of you are uh, anxious about the fees and uh, what uh, waivers might be available and uh, scholarships if possible and things like that so here is a slide which gives you a summary of those details so there uh, this program is actually very nominally uh, charged so uh, the fact is this uh, iit madras is not in this for making money iit madras is a organization which has a certain level of reputation and we want to make sure that uh, the same high quality education is given to students who have not uh, chosen to uh, take je or who have decided to take a take a different career path but we still want to reach out to them and provide them the highest quality education that uh, iits are known for so with that in mind the fee structures have been designed and the uh, as i said this is not like a regular uh, what you generally see as an online course but here what uh, what happens is there are recorded content and there is a lot of live interaction and there is a, also an ecosystem which has been built where you get to uh, interact with colleagues and uh, other students there is a social environment to it where you have houses and uh, social activities which are taken up by these houses and so on and also about 20% of the learners are from corporate environment so you get the opportunity to rub shoulders with people who are already in the industries where you are looking to apply for jobs right so th there is uh, such an ecosystem where uh, people actually uh, get the best of uh, all opportunities and above all you become a part of iit madras you become a student of iit madras and eventually if you graduate with a degree you will be an alumnus of iit madras so that is a uh, a great honor and that's what this program entails so uh, with all that in mind we have kind of uh, fixed the fees uh, the fee structure is shown here uh, it, it costs about uh, 32000 rupees for the courses in the foundation level and uh, 1 lakh 10000 for the courses in the diploma level and uh, so that is for completing both diplomas and if you are choosing to complete only one of the diplomas it will be only 55000 and uh, the degree level courses would be another 1 lakh so technically if somebody wants to do only the only one diploma let's say a person wants to do uh, only a diploma in programming or a diploma in data science then uh, the cost is around 87000 rupees so which is very nominal uh, that is a full fee and in addition to that there is also there are also waivers so you can see that in the uh, slide we have shown there is 50% waiver and 75% waiver depending on your background and your uh, family income so there this way this is actually very nominal and the current uh, application fee of 3000 also has waivers based on uh, your background so the application 3000 is not uh, uh, just for the application or taking the exam it is also going to provide you four weeks of content for each of these courses you don't need to undergo any other additional training you watch these videos you do the assignments which are provided you will be able to come and take the exam with full confidence so that level of training is provided in the four weeks uh, the first week of videos are already available online for you to sample and see whether this is something you would be interested in and if this is uh, something which is uh, rigorous enough for you okay and uh, this is this can actually give you an idea of uh, the quality of education you will be getting through this program so the application fee of 3000 is for all four courses this is one exam one qualifier exam on all four courses which will happen so the uh, this 3000 rupees of application fee will cover the four weeks of uh, training and the exam in your preferred center uh, based on an in person exam which will be conducted uh, early october so this uh, there is also waivers uh, for the fee and those are also uh, listed here 
so that you will be able to uh, get an idea as to what these are and these details can also be found on our website so based on the questions that we have been receiving so we have prepared a list of frequently asked questions so as i mentioned uh, these questions are uh, the most uh, asked questions right so they we want to kind of bring in a sample of questions so some of the queries that uh, you might specifically have might not be addressed in these i'll try to answer them uh, during our interaction but if not possible you can always write to the support uh, staff at uh, the iit madras online programs or you can also call us we'll be happy to talk to you and uh, answer any queries that you might have so having said that let me go into the faqs so here are some of the uh, questions uh, i uh, think there is some problem with the numbering on the first slide sorry about that but uh, that's all right so we'll just go through some of the questions so uh, what are the benefits of doing this course uh, so see this is a course which will directly uh, uh, help you with employability so the uh, skills which are being taught and the foundation which is being taught will provide a holistic development as a programmer or a data scientist unlike most uh, online courses which are out there uh this course focuses on uh, building a strong foundation and actually make sure that uh, you are a well rounded programmer or data scientist it is not going to be just that okay you are taught something as a quick fix and you will be uh, given something so that you can manage no that's not what the aim of this program is this program will ensure that you have the skill sets necessary for uh, facing the real world and uh, going up for a job or setting starting your own company and so on so those kinds of that way i think this program is uh, an excellent opportunity and you also get to be a part of an iit madras uh, system like not uh, everybody gets the privilege of being a part of this uh, institute so i'm i truly am honored to be even a faculty here so for you to at this age wherever you are uh, whatever you might be doing at this point to become a part of this family of iit madras uh, students and eventually even an iit madras alumnus is a great honor and i think that's uh, motivation in itself to join but uh, the employability is a major attraction where you will the, the skills that you develop will provide a solid foundation and the ecosystem that is been built up will provide you the training required and also uh, the opportunities required for learning and being successful uh, in the future why is there no direct admission into the bsc course uh, why a qualifier exam so uh, as i said unlike other online uh, programs this is not uh, going to be uh, something where you just come register and uh, like a correspondence course finish it off so this is not how this course has been designed the course has been designed to train the students uh, to become successful in the careers so because of that there is a significant level of rigor which is expected from the program so for uh, learners also there needs to be clarity on uh, what the course entails so for from both sides it is important that uh, students and uh, understand whether this is a course for them and uh, also decide whether this is something they can handle and they would like to uh, pursue so for that we have this qualifier process it's not just a qualifier exam it's a qualifier process where we provide the training for taking the exam so which is a very unique opportunity right so no other exam organizing body actually organizes the training program for taking that exam as well so you do not have iit is offering coaching classes for je right so which is kind of what we are doing we basically give you the material we teach you the material and say that hey we will quiz you on that material to see whether you are interested in taking it up and whether you are uh, and it also helps you decide whether you want to put in the time and effort for this so that is the reason for the process the way it has been designed is this degree valid and recognized yes iit madras is a degree awarding institute and we have the authority to award degrees so as per the iit iit act uh, from the parliament we do have that uh, powers so this is a recognized degree the bsc degree from iit madras will be a recognized degree uh, from uh, iit madras uh, so this is approved by the senate and board of governors of iit madras so this is a recognized valid degree 
can i apply for a masters degree after completing the degree course can i use this degree for online or offline masters so this would be treated like uh, any other bsc program so if you get a bsc degree then you can apply for an online uh, masters or a, an offline masters the only thing is uh, you have to apply for a program where they are looking for the specialization or they are willing to accept the specialization of this program so just like how a person who has done a bsc in microbiology if they want to apply for an msc in physics they cannot just go ahead and do that right so the msc physics department should be willing to admit a person from a bsc microbiology so that is the only restriction that uh, we can envision but other than that uh, if there is a if there is an msc program which admits students who have a bsc in programming or bsc in data science uh, this degree should uh, be accepted by them as well okay because this is issued by iit madras which is a, uh, which will be a recognized official degree what is the future scope of data science so as i mentioned uh, in the earlier slides so data science uh, is going to have millions of jobs created within the next 5 years so there are going to be so many job opportunities simply because data science can be used by all uh, experts in fields of in various fields so i am actually a biotechnologist i i am a chemical engineer who works in the department of biotechnology and uh, chemical engineering fa faculty in iit madras work on data science and artificial intelligence and you have biotech or biology faculty who work on uh, data science and artificial intelligence and you have finance people you have uh, commerce you have marketing uh, people from mechanical aerospace uh, medicine any domain that you can think of data science is and programming is a tool that can be directly applied to these fields so because of that it does not restrict you to any specific thing so there is like so much of a broad scope for data science and uh, this program will provide a solid foundation for understanding and uh, applying data science to various tools right it is not just that uh, you have been trained in writing one program or one language you have been trained certified in one language that's not what this program envisions this program gives you a holistic uh, training okay so can we use the iit madras name later in our career that is can we say that we are an alumni of iit madras once we get the bsc degree so as i have been emphasizing uh, any learner who completes the bsc degree will be recognized as an iit madras alumnus and they can use the iit madras uh, name and uh, uh, because this certificate which is the the degree certificate which is issued will carry the iit madras uh, logo and the signatures of the directors and board of governors and everybody the same applies even for the diplomas so the diplomas uh, by getting a diploma from iit madras you can still use the uh, iit madras name and you can say that you completed this diploma from iit madras and you have the diploma certificate with you uh, do you have uh, do you facilitate and support us with campus placements the placements is an important aspect uh, which many of you uh, might have concerns about uh, as you know iit madras strives to place everybody uh, who is in the on campus program so similarly for the off campus for this online program as well uh, we are making efforts towards uh, providing support for placements we, uh, we will evolve mechanisms which will uh, help with placements so uh, for people who actually complete uh the degree program with us so should learners who complete the bsc degree we will uh, definitely support provide the support required for placements um the facilitating and supporting will definitely happen uh, even uh, above all that i think with the kind of training that has been given to a student who go, undergoes um, the 31 courses which are required for completing the uh, online uh, degree program the bsc degree program their employability and the skills that they have earned would be so strong that there is no doubt that uh, they would be just gobbled up by companies right so there there would be such a high demand for people who have this level of uh, intense training with the rigor and the foundations that are being laid out so i we are confident that i the learners who come out of this program will be highly sought after by companies 
how much time are we supposed to devote for this course okay so uh, based on our estimate we kind of we expect that uh, a learner might actually have to spend about 10 hours a week for each course in this program so uh, we do provide a lot of flexibility for learners as you saw in one of the slides we would have given some time ranges a bsc degree can take anywhere between 3 to 6 years so the student can pace their degree uh, in a way that it makes they make sure that uh, they don't take too much in any of the semesters uh, any of the terms and uh, we also offer three terms unlike uh, the college system where it's only two semesters here we have three terms which means there is a summer term where the student can actually register for higher number of courses and dedicate more time if they choose to and if there is one term where they are uh, where they have other commitments whether it's academic or professional or something they can dedicate more time towards that and register for maybe one or two courses only so depending on that uh, you can kind of optimize the time uh, you can spend on the course but for each course we expect about 10 hours a week uh, that's the kind of time commitment that is uh, that would be required for uh, having uh, for completing the course uh, successfully and making the most out of the learning experience after completing uh, will this course be eligible for abroad studies so uh, this this course is a recognized uh, bsc degree from iit madras so if there are uh, institute that you are applying to abroad uh, is open to admitting students for uh, based on a 12 years of school education plus 3 years of uh, higher education college education then this program would be sufficient to apply for abroad studies so that you would have to check with the uh, institute uh, you would be applying to because some institutes might have restrictions of 12 plus 4 so uh, this uh, fact I, I applies even for on campus bsc ba bcom programs so because those are three year programs so that's the only thing that needs to be verified and that would have to be done uh, based on the eligibility criteria of the institutes where you would be applying okay during the course of this degree will the students also get a chance to do internships so the curriculum itself does not mandate an internship however uh, there will be opportunities for students to do internships and uh, it it would it can actually help uh, if students do internships but we are not going to be mandating or uh, ensuring that everybody does an internship if you uh, then the student can actually take up an internship uh, if they are interested so what is the advantage of an iit madras uh, bsc degree fee seems to be slightly on the higher side why is it so so uh, okay the, as i have been saying the um, advantage of an iit madras bsc degree is it provides you uh, the strong foundation and you become a part of the ecosystem which involves which includes uh, people from the corporate world so as i said 20% of the learners are corporate uh, employees already so no other program would you have this opportunity to actually interact with them there are other online courses which might be there but you might not be able to interact with your learners uh, to the level to the degree in which this program has been designed there has been so much uh, thought which has been put in to create a to uh, to create an academic environment uh, you create there are uh, discussion fora where people interact there are uh, groups where where uh, google groups where students interact and you have uh, houses where for social and uh, professional academic interactions happen so there just so, so many ways in which the people are able to interact with each other and uh, eventually with the degree you also become an iit madras alumnus and you become a part of this uh, strong network of 50000 alums who uh, are in the top positions of the world right so you you do become one of them and that carries a lot of value in the real world so as far as the fees as i already mentioned the fees has been designed based on the fact that there is so much training which is being put in for creating a well rounded student so if it is only just handing out content then that is not uh, something which iit madras is interested in doing we want to actually make sure that the learners make the most out of the content so we provide a, a support system we provide an ecosystem to actually make sure that the learners are able to answer the questions and uh, learners are able to understand the concepts 
and we also have in person exams so that there is strong credibility about what you have learned so anytime you uh, somebody steps out and says i did an iit madras bsc nobody should question the credibility of the effort that was put in and by doing all this uh, this becomes uh, this carries the name with pride so for that reason i think uh, the fees have been structured along the uh, as fair uh, I, i would say well, as i said it's about 87000 rupees if somebody wants to do only one uh, diploma and there is also 50 to 75% uh, fee waivers depending on the backgrounds and family incomes so that way i think uh, there is the fees can are reasonable so in case you are facing financial challenges there are issues uh, if that is the only reason which is be stopping you from applying for this program uh, please write to us and we will see what waivers would be applicable for you or whether there are any other uh, scholarships that can be uh, made available and so on but those would be based on uh, that would be uh, based on availability of fellowships and so on so but uh, with the normal waivers that are there for financial uh, constraints so uh, we believe that the fees are uh, fair will this bsc degree be equivalent to a normal college degree can its mark sheet be used at the time of post graduation yes i think i addressed this a little earlier as well so this would be treated as an online uh, as a as a regular bsc program uh, only so you uh, as a learner you would uh, be able to use this degree like any other normal college 3 year degree and these mark sheets will be given a mark sheet you will be given a transcript you will be given a certificate from iit madras uh, the degree certificate from iit madras and this is recognized by iit madras senate which means uh, this is this will carry the weight of an iit madras degree and you would be recognized as an iit madras alumnus can students simultaneously pursue degree diploma in iit madras and an on campus course is it possible to pursue both uh, yes it can students can pursue both uh, people can actually apply uh, while they are currently doing this you can you would have to manage your time appropriately you can earn a diploma without any issues uh, you can actually get a diploma and your on campus uh, course degree so that there are no hurdles there so as far as degree there are mechanisms which are being worked out so we will see how it all uh, what is being enabled but right now if uh, somebody joins and wants to earn one or two diplomas to complement the on campus degrees that they are doing students are uh, encouraged to do so and that would be greatly helpful uh, for their employability and uh, career advancements so you can definitely pursue these while you are uh, applying for while you are uh, doing an on campus course so just time management is something the learner has to figure out and try to register for courses based on the time that they are uh, time that is available for them can students pursue iit madras bsc degree alone without enrolling in uh, any other course so that is possible there are some eligibility uh, requirements which are listed in the uh, register on our website so i would suggest that you go to the website and look at what uh, the eligibility criteria are and you can see uh, whether you fit the criteria okay so if i go into the details of every eligibility criteria it can actually become uh, quite boring and too uh, intricate which might not really be the goal of this uh, session but uh, there are students who can be eligible uh, and they, when they are not enrolled in any other program as i already said about 20% of our uh, people of the learners in our program are already corporate employees so which means they are not enrolled in any other uh, academic program they can still do these uh, courses and this diploma so it is always possible so please check what uh, the eligibilities are and whether you qualify for applying towards so that that would be the best way to know about it in case there is uh, there is lack of clarity for you if you have queries you can always write to the support uh, email or call us and we will try and uh, explain the process to you so we'll be happy to take your call or answer your emails what are the opportunities that students will get after completing the course that is the benefit in terms of jobs and placements so uh, as i said uh, the uh, the uh, specialization which has been chosen which is programming and data science 
those two are highly employable skills okay so they enhance the employability uh, of any person who actually takes this up and it can also help in career advancement okay so uh, if you are talking about uh, the volume of jobs that are going to be available that's something i already presented what the projections are there are going to be millions of jobs created within the next 5 years those are the projections so uh, as far as the support from uh, the online degree program and uh, iit madras we will be uh, providing as assistance and we will facilitate with respect to placements for uh, students who complete the bsc degree and two diplomas we will uh, we will go through the process and uh, see what uh, would be the placement opportunities available for them as far as uh, employability goes there is no question in our mind that uh, the student who successfully completes even one diploma is going to be highly sought after uh, by companies so if you were to compare two people who have all other qualifications to be equal and one person has an iit madras diploma in addition to those qualifications uh, we can uh, we very confidently say that person will be uh, more qualified for any job they apply to i'm not even saying that that person will be immediately absorbed by the company because they have an iitm tag what i'm trying to say is the person would have been given such high quality training that they will be able to get any job that they set their mind to that is the level of training that we are willing to provide we have been dedicating to provide so we will ensure that you will be uh, employable and the skills that you have would be uh, completely well rounded details about class timings assignments availability of offline videos selection criteria and how to clear my doubts of lectures okay so as i said uh, this is an ecosystem that we have built Okay, this is not like many other places where you would register for an online program and you are given the videos and you are said, okay, go to study and then uh, you take one exam and you will complete it and so on. That's not how this program has been designed. This program actually has a proper ecosystem to support the learners. So what we have is uh, online uh, videos are actually recorded videos where you will be able to watch it. based on your uh, timings so you are given flexibility to watch the videos whenever uh, possible then you have uh, live sessions where instructors are available for you where you can ask questions uh, cl uh, clarify any doubts and uh, discuss the videos the content of the lectures and the assignments which would be given and so on so there will be weekly assignments which would be given uh, for you to practice and submit so these are also submitted online there are uh, this these assignments help us in uh, determining uh, the eligibility to appear for the final exam and so on so this also helps you prepare for the final exam uh, and there are other quizzes which are in person quizzes where the student uh, comes to the center and takes the quizzes there are monthly quizzes which will also help in uh, preparing there is regular effort that is uh, put in so unlike many other programs where you would probably work towards uh, the last date of the exam or something like that here there is a continuous evaluation mechanism and there is a continuous uh, process for learning so as far as uh, in addition to all this there are also discussion boards there are discourse forums and so on where uh, learners interact and also uh, the instructors and course faculty come and actually answer uh, queries raised by the students where they try to help each other out Uh, and there is also a social uh, element to it where there are houses and students help each other out there are uh, so um, chats like google groups and so on where there is interaction and uh, knowledge dissemination so there are so many uh, avenues in which you can actually clear your doubts address any questions that you might have and so on as i said selection criteria there is no uh, ranking or anything like that it is only based on this qualifier process where you study four weeks of content and take a qualifier exam anybody who clears this qualifier exam is eligible to apply for the uh, eligible to join the foundation level of the program okay can degree dropouts register to the iitm bsc degree 
uh, yes we do not have any restrictions about that so again you would have to check the eligibility so uh, there are some criteria about the number of years uh, before completing after completing 12th standard that you can join and things like that so you can look at it uh, as i said you don't have to be currently enrolled in uh, a program to register for this uh, provided you meet certain eligibility criteria please look at the website and you will be able to find what the eligibility criteria are can this course be treated as a correspondence course no so a correspondence course is something where you just are given the material and uh, you are asked to study on your own and then come and take an exam this is not a correspondence course let me reiterate and emphasize the word not a correspondence course because this course is uh, what we like to call a blended learning environment or a hybrid learning model so what we have is a uh, online uh, like content which is delivered online then you have a support system where you have live interactions which is also done online then you have your uh, assignments for weekly practice then monthly quizzes which are done in person and an end semester exam which is also done in person so there is a evaluation process based on that and the grades are awarded so this is quite rigorous unlike uh, some correspondence courses where you might think that okay i'll or just register for it and then figure out whether i can take time to do it here it might not be the case so that is the reason we are actually having this qualifier process where you can actually sample the four courses for a period of four weeks for a very nominal fee like you can spend four weeks time to see whether this is something you can do and uh, you can apply and even before doing that there is one weeks of content which is already out there on the website you can go you can just navigate through the website and you will be able to get that you can watch those videos and see whether that is of interest to you and uh, how uh, uh, whether you want to enroll and so on but please watch the videos and you can make a decision based on that what's the overall fee for foundation diploma and graduation levels so this i have answered as part of the introduction slides so it is uh, about 32000 for the foundation and 55000 for uh, each diploma and uh, then there is uh, another 1 lakh for the degree level so overall the entire program cost around comes to around 2 lakh 42000 rupees uh, but this is the total fees and there are waivers up to 75% for uh, students of uh, specific backgrounds and uh, family income so it is so uh, you can basically learn, earn a diploma uh, from earn one diploma from iit madras for 87000 rupees of full price or with waivers it can be earned at under 22000 rupees so that is 22000 rupees for a training of uh, 8 plus 6 14 courses so that is Uh, around what 1500 rupees per course so that is the lowest level uh, of cost that would be there if you are just looking to do one diploma okay on an average how many hours do we have to spend daily in learning uh, in this three year program is it manageable to prepare for gate along with this degree program so as i already said uh, this program is a highly flexible program you do not have to complete it in three years you can choose to optimize that time so for example if you are preparing for gate this time and uh, the gate comes usually comes up in february right so if you are actually going to be dedicating time towards preparing for gate for this one term you can kind of try to register for lesser number of courses and then in the subsequent terms you can register for uh, courses at a higher slightly higher load and then optimize it in such a way that you can continue with the program so you can complete the entire degree program in under 6 years that is all that is required so this is not like a traditional on campus program where you have to complete the program in 3 years that is not how this program has been designed this is designed with ample flexibility because we want uh, even people who are employed to be a part of this program so for that reason there is a ample flexibility given to students so they will be able to uh, register for courses accordingly and manage their time better are there any scholarships provided so as i already said there are a significant uh, levels of waivers you can get up to 75% waiver uh, depending on the background and uh, family income uh, so there are scholarships in addition to that may be available 
depending on uh, the availability of funds and uh, the qualifications of the candidates that it may be possible uh, we have done that in the past we will uh, continue exploring what is possible and depending on the candidates and the decisions will be made the eligibility and the qualifications of the candidate decisions on scholarships will be made a lot depends on the availability of funds as well but with the waivers themselves it's actually quite an attractive uh, fee so if you are looking at two terms for the foundation level which is 32000 uh, at a 75% waiver you are looking at 8000 rupees for eight courses so that's only 1000 rupees a course so the fees are at uh, have been pitched at a very reasonable level and considering the amount of effort which goes in and the kind of training that we uh, strive to provide you we are confident that uh, this is this would be money well spent so please do uh, check out the courses so that you will know what kind of uh, quality we are talking about the quality of iit madras will not be compromised and we will be providing you the same high quality education that iits are known for what can a student expect from this course are examinations remote are there projects or is it just a theoretical course okay so uh, i think i have been talking about what you can expect from this course uh, for till now so i hope those questions are answered but uh, basically what i would i'd like to uh, reiterate is this course will provide uh, the foundational training and uh, the skill sets required and also uh, the higher level trainings that might be needed and give you a well rounded education in the areas of programming and data science so that is a very unique opportunity uh, which is being presented by this course Uh, as far as the exams i think i mentioned this uh, earlier as well let me mention it again exams will be in person although some uh, assignments and qu- some quizzes might happen or some components of exams might happen uh, remotely uh, we expect the exams to happen at a center so students will be uh, asked to choose from a list of uh, various centers and based on their availability and the location the centers will be allotted and students can choose to uh allah i choose different uh, centers as well in case they are traveling so even during a term they can say quiz one i'll take in one center whereas the nsm i'll take in another center, another center that is also possible we do provide those flexibilities so there are uh, lots of uh, flexibilities provided to the learner so there are some uh, centers even abroad and so on we will uh, we are working towards uh, making it accessible for everybody Uh, as far as projects uh, there will be projects as part of each course uh, at various levels so as the student goes into diploma and degree level courses there will be projects as part of it so there will be a lot of hands on training this will not be a theoretical course uh, there is no point in actually having a theoretical course on programming so the this topics uh, in addition to the fact that the employability is very good for these courses one of the reasons we chose this for uh, having it as an online program is the fact that we will be able to provide hands on training in a remote fashion for these topics so there is a lot of hands on training which is involved uh, in uh, each of these courses the programming courses and the data science courses will involve a significant amount of hands on training and also there will be uh, like uh, pro- projects which are parts of the courses we will not have a se- separate capstone project kind of thing but instead each course will actually uh, have versions of uh, practical training and uh, projects which can actually help you uh, gain the required practical knowledge what if the exam date clashes with the students uh, regular degree course so uh, exams okay so this is uh, a concern which many of you might have so what we usually do is we schedule these exams for sundays so uh, it is unlikely that it will clash with one of your regular exams so you can take the exams only on, uh, like, during that time so it will not be a problem but in case there are issues uh, we will have to see wh- uh, what it would be but the, f- the fact is these exam dates are also announced well ahead of time so you do know the exam dates and what the situation when it will be conducted and where you will be taking it and because it is conducted on sundays we do not expect uh, clashes with regular uh, exams uh, regular uh, degree exams 
will students ever get a chance to visit iit madras campus so uh, as of now with the current scenario we do, we have not been able to plan anything for campus visits for uh, the online program students but we would be happy to host uh, some of the students if and when uh, things are safe and when uh, it is possible to do that but uh, but as of now we have not been able to do that but we will uh, really we would like to do it at some point uh, for a group of students at least depending on uh, when it is safe and how it is possible we will work towards those modalities why is it necessary for students to enroll in a regular college in order to be admitted okay so this is actually a good question so uh, this enrollment as i said enrollment to a regular college is not mandatory for everybody so there are a set of students for whom it has been asked uh, said to be mandatory so to briefly put it like this is not the exact eligibility please do refer to our website for the exact eligibility but a student who has just completed uh, the 12th standard uh, we are request we are uh, requiring them to be enrolled in a regular college Uh, so that they can join this program there are a few reasons uh, for which we do this uh, the first one is uh, we believe that uh, this would uh, this course can add value to a regular uh, college program when uh, a student let's say a student is pursuing a uh, bcom right or uh, or uh, and is simultaneously doing a program uh, doing the diploma in data science now this diploma in data science by itself um, is one it has its own value but with the bcom it now complements these two programs very well so that way the skills which are learned in this diploma from data science can be applied to the uh, theory that a student would learn from a bcom program and that actually uh, makes them more attractive for an employer so this is one aspect of it the other aspect is uh, this this co- these courses actually uh, would provide you the environment for uh, being trained at an online level with uh, with regular exams which means we expect a certain level of self motivation and self uh, driven uh, energy to actually do this you need to have a drive to pursue this so uh, the student uh, might actually at some point uh, choose that okay this is pro- I, w- i don't want to complete and continue all the way to all the three years where i need to complete these uh, 31 courses to get this degree i can just quit with one diploma or two diplomas so this kind of a flexibility would not be uh, possible if a student is not re- registered for a regular college so then they w- uh, this is the only degree that they would have to r- uh, rely on which means they would have to completely rely on getting this degree so the uh, the flexibility of multiple exits which are which have been built into the program will be taken away if the student does not have a regular college degree that they are enrolled in so for these reasons we have kind of suggested that uh, it is important that the students are enrolled in a college especially for students who are just graduating from their 12th standard so for working professionals or people who have spent uh, enough time outside of uh, 12th standard there is uh, those are not there. those that requirement is not there please check our website and we will be able to find the eligibility and you will be able to get better clarity on this issue okay so can students do a dual integrated degree bsc plus msc from iit madras so you, i am assuming the question is about a bsc and msc in programming and data science so as of now the, we do not have a program like that the program is a bsc degree so basically a student joins com- can complete a foundational level and a diploma level and then a bsc level we have not um, created an msc level yet so uh, but it's an interesting suggestion uh, but as of now we are looking at this as a as an undergraduate program where we will be able to earn a uh, diplomas or uh, bsc uh, frame programming or data science so do students get to participate in iit iitm festivals so uh, you are more than welcome to participate at iitm festivals you are part of the institute so you will be uh, you will be happy to have you as part of iitm festivals there are also uh, online festivals which are organized by the online uh, program students and uh, there are uh, like cultural events and uh, 
technical events which are organized by these online program learners so you can be a part of that and you can also be a part of the on campus uh, festivals like shastra and sarang so you are more than welcome to join for those programs so there were no uh, issues with that so you can will be happy to host you uh, if you are joining for these programs uh, is the program equivalent to getting an iit seat in engineering so uh, okay i don't think you should compare the two uh, this is an admission this is basically a, uh, an entry into an iit program, madras program whether you want to uh, say it is equivalent to an engineering uh, seat at iit that is just a very subjective question and i don't think uh, it is a right comparison to make these are apples and oranges so these um, this program is designed as a bsc program uh, we want uh, to reach more people and there is an online component to it for uh, content delivery so that we can uh, attract a lot of people to enter into the program so this is definitely a way to get into iit and this is i would say it is equivalent to getting into iit madras uh, on a on a campus mode because the quality of education which is being provided to you will be on par to the on campus program so I, that was the comparison which would uh, which makes more sense to me whether if you were to ask me does is this program actually having the quality which is uh, on par with an iit madras on campus program then i would confidently say yes the rigor and the quality of uh, teaching and the quality of content is on, is on par with an uh, on campus iit madras program so we strive to make sure that is there and that way we hope to achieve uh, a very good training and like give a whole uh, holistic training for the students and make them uh, develop the skill sets which are required so i think with that i have kind of addressed most of the questions from the learners so if there are anything else that needs to be answered i'll be happy to uh, let me just see if there are questions which need to be addressed if not uh, i think i have kind of addressed most of the concerns so as i said uh, let me just go to this slide yeah so this is a slide where you can look at what this program is all about and you will be able to uh, see the entry and exit points so and as i already mentioned the times which uh, which can be spent on each level is also given so with that i think you uh, you will have the clarity which is required for uh, joining this program i hope i have been able to address all the concerns that you had and i hope to see uh, more of you uh, joining this program and benefiting from the quality education that iit madras is known for so we will uh, ensure that you are trained uh, on the same level as an iit madras graduate by the time you complete this program so i think uh, that should be it so if there are no other questions thank you let me stop sharing my screen so, and uh, thank you all one of one of the